Good morning and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Although many YouTubers already moved to Arm, uh, I drink iced coffee um, even in the winter. I still am um, trying to remain festive if you can see the red and the orange. Today I'm going to show you for recipe of iced coffee. Uh, I can feel the arm coming up. I, in general, drink iced coffee even in the winter, in autumn, every season. I, it's not gonna matter. I just like cold beverages. Okay, first of all, boil water. Choose cup. I chose like very futuristic. Um, it's not messenger, it's just regular jar. Now for this recipe, I will use almond milk and maple syrup. So it will be um, kind of sweet if you drink better coffee that you probably don't gonna like it that much but it gives a really nice touch. That's the company. The ingredients are water, rice 14%, almond paste, one and a half percent and sunflower seeds oil, uh, sea salt and almond nature flavor. So there's no um, added sugar in it, you know a lot of like um, alternative milk has a lot of sugar in it, so you have to read the ingredients. Okay, one teaspoon of coffee. Just now, forget the coldest coffee you will ever get. Um, I need a bit of water just to melt the coffee. I will show you. That's the amount you will need after all the coffee melt. This is the maple syrup I use. It's organic. I usually drink bitter coffee, so I probably use not more than one tablespoon. You can use two if you want. That should be enough. So sweet. Yeah. Okay. Ice. Fill the jar with ice, I'm not joking. Fill the end of the jar with ice. Shove as many as you can. What? Get your head out of the gutter, I mean ice. Now add the almond milk. And fill the rest with water. There you have it, the first um, easy recipe of iced coffee. Like seriously, that tastes great. So we have one recipe of coffee. The second one I will go on, don't think I'm weird, I swear I saw on Pinterest and I decided to try it on. And actually it's pretty good. I took the mason jar with the lid. Let it focus, there you go. One teaspoon of coffee. Take some mint. Mint. Show it all in. Add a small amount of water just to melt the coffee and the mint together give it a good mix oh my god you guys no it's, it doesn't smell that great together but try this out and taste the result it's come out amazing ice add water And for the final, add a mint on top, so it looks kind of nice. And there you have it. Hold on, you're kind of with mint, you have to say. I know it don't look that great, but trust me when you try this out. Look how amazing it looks like, seriously. And... I love it, seriously. The mint gives it like fresh scent to the coffee. You have to understand that uh, the coffee is really strong and the mint just gives it a little uh, kick. So it's, it tastes like very fresh, but not too um, meat. Uh, the third recipe will be uh, coffee with uh, cacao powder and soy milk. So again, choose a jar. One tablespoon of coffee, one teaspoon soy. Now, when you pour the water, just make sure you add it to uh, 
um, cacao powder because it has to melt good. So you don't have to like chunk of um, cacao powder. If it's raw cacao, you use a half because it's really strong and I don't want to give it like chocolate milk drink. It has to be like more mocha coffee. So. This is a um, vanilla flavored soya milk. Added about half a jar. Added water. There you go, this is that. You have like uh, mocha coffee. That's the third recipe. If you like chocolate milk, you will love it, trust me. It's so easy and simple, so why not making it? Okay, are you ready guys? The last recipe, I'm not joking, it's my favorite. For, for the last recipe, I would use um, cinnamon, hazelnut milk, and vanilla extract. Then, choose the jar, fill it with one tablespoon of coffee, add it on. Before you add the water this time, um, add the cinnamon powder because it has to melt. Now, add the boiling water. Um, vanilla extract, about a couple of drops, that's all, ice, again I used uh, Victory's, seriously don't hate me if I pronounce it wrong, um, hazelnut milk, it's organic, um, the ingredients are water, rice 40%, hazelnut paste, uh, 3%, sunflower seeds oil, Sizzles and it's all right. So it's probably the best you can get. It's a bit pricey, but it's worth it. Trust me. When you wake up in the morning and drive from this bottle, you'll feel like you're in heaven. Again, feel the mason jar. Uh, actually, as much as you want. I usually drink a half of it when I make coffee. I don't use water right now because I just don't feel like it. I want it strong and uh, milky, so I'll, I'll close the lid if it can be closed. God damn it. And there you go. This is the best recipe that I'll show you. And this is my most favorite coffee. If I could let you try this, you will die, literally. Like, that's good stuff. Okay, um, I can't see from here, I hope you can see it. Um, so, we have the maple syrup and almond milk, so that tastes great. We have the black coffee and mint. We have the a cacao powder and vanilla flavored coffee. And last one, and most excited, we have the cinnamon, almond milk and vanilla extract. I personally hate mornings and it's very hard to accomplish get up from bed in the morning so I know if I treat myself uh, with a good cup of coffee uh, it usually help me get up from bed so try this out it's really good and I will leave all the recipes in my description box so you can see if you like coffee and I'm sure you love coffee give a big thumbs up to my video or subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week I promise it won't be uh, baking way done it will be like more crafty way i'm not going to tell you what it's a secret you have to wait until next week so thank you guys for watching i love you and i'll see you soon bye bye